welcome welcome back to my channel it's the girl heather so from the time of today's video you guys tell that i am going to be doing my nailies i've already cleaned my nails not really clean though i just went ahead and took my nails off which i didn't show that part because i thought it'd be too much but i just removed my nails i've been doing my nails since i went back to school because it's been really hard trying to find time for me to actually go out and do them or find people in chapel hill who actually does the nails that i like i like very simple things so i was like heather you're spending like a lot of money especially since i was getting a priest nails not a lot of nail salons have that so i've been doing my nails myself i used to use the a priest ones online but last time i checked that was out of my favorite shape the round ones unfortunately i lost my round nails so i really hate that so much so i went on amazon and i found this duplex actually i lied i found a duplex on this girl tiktok some last week and they weren't magic just like the real ones and i saved like 70 dollars so i'm really happy about that i'm going to be using the duplex the jillian glion i don't know how to pronounce it whatsoever if i say it wrong don't judge me don't come after me so i'm going to show you guys how to do my nails i don't know why this is definitely not something that i usually put on my channel i'm not like a beauty person Person, but I was like, I really like doing my own nails. I want to share it. Just in case someone out there who wants to do their own nails. I don't know. But yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how I do my nails. So I'm going to go ahead and shape them. You know, smooth them down a little bit. Apply some cuckoo oil. All that good to you, good stuff. And let's get into the video. Okay, I am going to show you guys this. I do not have much, like, nail stuff. I do just have a little bit because I am, like, starting out. This is something new with me. Okay, guys. So I just have, like, I have this dip powder right here. But these are, like, the tools that I use. And this is, like, all of my nail polish that I have in here. Okay, so I'm at my desk. This is a little weird, awkward thing I got on right here, but it's okay. So, like I said, I use Jellion Nail Accession Kit. It's not really much, you know. This is the kit I use. I tore the box. I couldn't get it open. I was very, oh, well, very impatient that day. But I'm going to try, try to open it and show you guys what it is. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Only thing I use out of this box is this, this, everything except for this. I have no clue how to use that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take out everything I need out of the box first. Okay, so there is a direction that they have you to follow, but I kind of just like wing it and do it myself. Pretty much, I do start with clean hands. Make sure your hands are clean first before you start, but my hands are already washed, did that. Didn't show it because who wants to wash my hands? These are some that I've like used that have like left over a little bit. So yeah, I'm just gonna use eight and ten. So the first thing I like to do first is match my hands up with the nail size. I kind of already know my nail size right now, but sometimes you just want to always just like check to make sure because for some reason number ten fits this finger, and last week it definitely fit my pinky. So first thing we're gonna do is size up our hands. I don't always think about you. Sometimes I do Cause sometimes I was trying to show you that I don't like for the nail to hang over it And make sure that it's not on my skin And make sure that it pops perfectly Not too big, not too small Cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first All of the turns that I had to unlearn Back to the surface, the feeling of all that Okay, don't pay attention to like how dirty my mat is I'm planning on ordering another one anyways Cause this is yeah, pretty ugly But pretty much I just got all my nail sizes Matched up so i got them all laid out for me to use them the thing i'm gonna go ahead and do is shape my nails oh because as you can tell they're like kind of different lengths right now for some reason i guess it's the way they've been growing out i will admit that since i've been doing my nails my nails have gotten a lot stronger my right hand is growing a lot faster than my left hand like usually when my nails grow out they get weak but these are like really strong so i'm like if i want to do this shave it down or like even my nails up a little bit if then i want to use this to like smooth it out and then i am going to like wash my hands one more time and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna start the process back to the surface the feeling of all that we were i don't always think about you till first avenue that's when i do For a few minutes i'm gonna go ahead and massage it in to my fingers and now we're going to go wash them 
Now my nails are clean, let's start the fun part. My favorite part of doing my nails is putting, applying the gel and everything and then designing them. So let's go ahead and apply these nails. Always think about you. But sometimes I, I am first gonna go in with this nail prep dehydrator. All of the streets we used to on Just a friendly reminder, I am not professional. I did this for fun. This is how I do my nails. First on my air dry, I'll shake my hands around just to make sure it's completely dry before I go to the next thing. It's going to be the same thing I did as previous. I am just going to add some nail primer. There's a very thin layer onto my nail and let it air dry. After I air dry, and then I'm going to apply the gel. After that dries, I just apply a very thin layer of gel onto my natural nail and then I add just a little bit into the bottom part of the nail and then I hold pressure under the light and then I grab a little white clamp and stick under the light just so I feel like it's harder and that's not going to break. And then I'm just going to repeat that all with the rest of my nine nails. If you guys want more like an in-depth video of like how I actually do it, that I'll definitely make one for you guys. Like I said, I am still learning, but this is the way I do it and the easiest way for me. So you see here, I'm just applying a very thin layer of gel and then I'm going to add a little bubble of gel to the nail. Add pressure, make sure you have no air bubbles into your nail and when you Add it into the light, you're gonna hold it until you feel like a little tingly, and then that's how you know usually it's time for it to come out. But I do add a clamp just to make sure there's no air bubbles. The less air bubbles, the better it is. Okay, so my nails are done. I got the little tips on, they're very clear. So now the next thing I want to do is cut them down and shape them. I like my nails to be like round almond shape. I think these are almond, but I like to be a little bit more round, just a little bit more natural. But this is what they look like right now. They're very clear and they're kind of long. And I like my nails to be long. So yeah, let's go do this. Okay, to give you guys a little rundown of how I do it, I just take my clippers and I don't even measure them. Like when I first cut them down, they're all going to be different lifts. But that really doesn't matter to me because after I cut them down with the clippers, I'm just going to go with my file and I'm just going to like shade them up around the edges and around the top. Sometimes I'll do like a very square top and then just round the edges just to give me the look I'm going for. It just all depends. Sometimes I'll take the clippers and like clip them around the edge a little bit to have them a little bit pointy and then shade them down it all depends on what mood i'm feeling that day it i do them differently every day all right guys so i just got done shaving down my nails and like battling them and i even like use this buffer thing to make them dull so the polish can stay on them so this is what they look like i know it looks like my hands are ashy but i promise you guys they're not so what i'm about to do now is after i get done i like to go ahead and just wash my hands again and now we're going to get to the really 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 fun part of my nails is finally polishing sometimes i use like a very basic color like i'll go like a nude like last week i did this like green color on my nail which in fact this may be regular polish but you guys this work wonders and then sometimes i will be using my like dip powder colors that i have i have this one and then i have another one made by a different company that and then i'll also have my favorite and only to now polish my own this is a very nude color i think today then i'm gonna do a clear coat 